beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so very much for joining me. My name is Christine. Welcome to another All Signs Tarot Reading. All Signs Love Tarot Reading. All Signs Love Reading. I gotta fix this. I don't know why that was just really bugging me. And as is pretty much really always the case here at the Tarot Closet, All Signs Love Messages Reading. This is a, whoa, <laughs> my gosh. Messages from your person, messages from your higher self. This is a love reading for the collective. This is a timeless reading, a timeless tarot reading. You are here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection. It means that there is a message here for you. So the two of emotions is showing itself in reverse, your first card. Venus and Cancer energy. This is the Two of Cups in reverse. No contact, no communication and or in separation. A breakup energy around here. Was there some kind of an argument? Let's see what's going on. All the decks that are coming in today are listed below in the description. I'm always pointing to myself. I, I literally touch my heart. <laughs> I'm just going to go like this down in the description. All zodiac signs, of course, the readings that are connected to today's reading, all tarot, all, all zodiac signs, love readings. Boy, I'm just a mess today. That is listed under love tarot readings, messages from your person. If you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long very in-depth twin flame readings and other playlists below <laughs> in the description. So feel free to go down there and check it out if you're inspired to do so. Remember, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and let the rest go. And I would be so grateful if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. It helps keep the channel moving so much more really than I can even articulate. And it goes without saying, thank you for being here today. Your support means a lot to me. I love you very much. Let's see what else is going on in this connection. By the way, uh, just a little disclaimer, I'm still struggling with this. My whole family is head, throat, head, nose, throat thing. So if you notice some squeaking and a squawking with my voice, that is why it's getting better every day and it's probably going to be cleared up soon, but it's still a little bit of a nuisance. Anyway, thank you for bearing with me. Thank you, spirit guides, angels and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So things may not be moving in this connection, but somebody wants to communicate. That's also not moving right now. We can see no contact, no communication and or in separation. Really what, where are you at in your connection? The Muse of Voices is the King of Swords in this deck. Whoa, Gemini and Mercury energy all about communication. The planet of the mind, the planet of communication. Mercury is oftentimes connected to reading and writing. So it can be, whoa, okay, yeah, look at this, somebody here, this is stuck, look, it's been really stuck, this connection is stuck, the chariot is in your partnership placement, it's in reverse, you're definitely not communicating, this is moon and cancer energy, it's an emotional energy, somebody's withholding that, there's an emotional unavailability, lack of communication here, not moving, it's cancer and the moon energy, you know, and that's moving on, you know, taking action, change. Sometimes can be physical travel, but really for me, this is about the journey that you're on moving forward. We can see that it's stuck. One could say stuck in a rut. It's the, the wheel of fortune. This is called the wheel in the stack, and it's in reverse. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius are here. So, yeah separation, the disconnection, not talking, things not moving forward. It does look like your person wants to communicate. This is also the King of Wands. So we have the King of Swords and the King of Wands, and this is where their energy is the strongest. 
Of course they're everywhere in your reading, but it's the strongest here. And this is a really courageous energy of just kind of moving toward what they want. And look what, whoa, <laughs> I tell you, it's cut this kind of day today. It's this kind of day today. Here in the Austrian Alps, we have the Foon. It's the winds from Africa and it comes and goes. And then one day we have snow and the next day we have this Foon this time of year. So it makes things a little bit wonky. Quite literally, the wind knocking things over. The King of Inspiration, what I wanted to say to you here is look where they're heading. They're heading for the moon. That, well, that's the moon energy. That's the emotional energy. Of course, that's bringing in the moon there. Pisces energy, also Gemini and Cancer. And that's all, that's everything that has not been, that's not being said. It's everything that hasn't been unsaid. The emotions that have been held back and emotional unavailability. Of course, that's going hand in hand with the lack of communication. The Wheel of Fortune is a deep soulmate connection. But we see the cycle where you are right now is... Yeah, it's in reverse. It's just a separation going on here. It can be that you've known your person for a really long time. It can also just feel that way. For some of you, this might be twin flame energy. It's not going to be for everyone. I know not everybody follows a twin flame journey or believes in a twin flame journey. I want to show you what's going on here. It's the Seven of Swords. So this is Aquarius and Uranus energy. It's Renner. Somebody that's been running from communication, being clear about how they feel. Look at this. The clarity, the transactional energy. They might be, I, I, I want to say they could be lying about something else, but some of the dishonesty that's coming through is just around how they feel. Interesting. Yeah, so this is still a current energy. It's Aquarius and Uranus energy. However, it's also... This Uranus energy is also an energy of what changed everything, you know? Somebody leaving the connection, whether it's just communication, I feel like that's playing a really big part here, or physically as well. I think it might be everything here today. They're wanting to communicate. I wanna move the energy a little more. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards, I hope. Page of Inspiration, the Queen of Voices. Yeah, this is really clear. So they're definitely getting some, literally some inspiration. This is the Page of Wands. These are yours. We're going to get them in just a minute. It's sort of like, hey, wait a minute. Look, they're stretching, preparing. The thing about page energy is it, it can't be that somebody's younger, that your person is chronologically younger. It doesn't mean that they are. It's also an energy, it's kind of like a student energy. Look, it's like a warm up. It, I mean, you can see it here. Figuring it out, thinking about it as they're, as they're stretching. They have their kitties here. It's kind of like a queen of wands kitties, I think. Yeah, that's interesting. And yeah, they're little protectors, they're secret keepers. They're also really very healing. The per vibrations from Cats are really medically therapeutic. They have eight chakras. They're known in ancient times. They were known in ancient times as spiritual protectors, you know, fortune tellers, guardian angels. Very strong psychic skills. So they're, I want to say there's a guidance going on with your person. They're just thinking about, thinking about what they want to say. They definitely want to be honest. Look at that. Queen of Voices, that's the Queen of Swords. It's Libra ruled by Venus energy. And of course, Libra connects to the infinity symbol. So for some of you, again, that's twin flame energy. But that's also a particular kind of love, you know, a connection. Feeling like you've known your person. It's maybe you have actually chronologically, but it's also a soul connection, you know, a faded connection, destined to meet. Somehow your destinies are intertwined here. And it's balance, of course, you know, and that's balance, balancing things out for renewal. Divine feminine, divine masculine energies, yin yang energy, also coming out of a cycle here. So the cloud looks almost like it was lowered. 
And that's kind of the out of nowhere energy. Like, I, I think I, I need to communicate with my person coming out of indecision. But also it's filled with rainbows, you know, and that's an energy of hope. It's warm here. It's the inspirational energy. It's the wands. It's the fire energy, you know. The hair is looking like fire. And it's also really bringing in the yin yang energy here in the hair, which is interesting because that's also a really spiritual energy. So what they want to say to you isn't just a, hey, checking in. This is the truth. What's the truth? The Queen of Swords, Venus, of course. It's around the love. There are crows. Big angel wing here as the queen looks over and prepares to tell the truth. Messages from spirit here rising above conflicting energy. Giving this energy too, as you can see, because when you do something nice for a crow, you know, they come back really for life and bring you things. So they're all gathered here around this person. This is a, a message of truth that is doesn't have malice in it. Is that slowed down as well? You know? We see that there, things have been stuck. Past energies, there's some current energy there. Look at this. Wow. So what are we missing? And where is this? I think I turned this over in my hand. I did. It's here. It's where it belongs. It's the Muse of Materials. It's the Ace of Pentacles. Or excuse me, the King of Pentacles. So you have the King of Swords right here with the Queen of Swords. Look at that. You're both here right... So this communication does not have any malice. It could be that maybe there's still a little bit of, I don't know, bickering or just some back and forth energy. And may you know, there it could be for some of you there was some discord already, but it can be that it's still, you know, that it might still be here. We have the king and the queen of swords here today. That truth, the communication, look, you're both here for it. You're back to back. Connected but not looking at each other. But look at these kites going up to the moon. That's rising above conflicting energy here. So this is a conversation that really needs to happen. And it's connecting to what looks like a pink moon. Emotional. Revealing. Bringing in truth. They're ready for it. Are you? Both here, look with the flames, the wand energy. Some of you might be meeting actually at a place. It's not going to be for everybody. And it is a matter of divine timing. It can't even be that there's friends and family involved. It's the three of emotions. It's the three of cups. This is Mercury and Cancer energy. This is the communication. And it's a reunion energy. It's also a validation of the soul connection. <laughs> look, of course, what is being held on to, it's the moon. This is a Mercury and Cancer energy, but it's Cancer, you know, it's, of course it's the moon here. Coming together and communicating. So is this in person? For some of you it is. There's a lot of emotional energy here. There's a lot of opening up here. There's a lot of revealing going on. A lot of the, a lot of things that have been hidden. There might be a little bit of, you know, a little bit of headbutting going on, but nothing here feels like it's in malice. It's just more about kind of having an, a really honest discussion, a really honest conversation, hammering things out. The Muse of Pentacles is here as well. By the way, the divine, divine timing, communication growth. And again, it can be for some of you that this is around friends and family. It won't be for everyone because again, it's Mercury energy, you know. And that can be email, SMS, it can be even a phone call. And the King of Pentacles also here, Virgo ruled by Mercury. Yeah, this is just, you're, this is most definitely, look at this, a conversation between you. It's just really incredibly clear. It's the truth. It's around what's been happening, what hasn't been happening and growing. It's around this connection. Look at the love. Walking here toward this opening, which is a new beginning. You know, passageway, I want to say a new direction. A union energy here. So it can be, again, it can be in real, real time, I want to say in person, but it can also be that it's just a message. It's very, very clear. The roses here, by the way, as 
this person walks here, look the connection. There are four roses kind of floating up here. They're in the, you know, heading for the divine. And that's manifesting. So this is something I feel like you both want. There's four of them there. The four areas of support and stability, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. So for some of you, it can be that there's a distance between you physically, and this is maybe not going to ma manifest in that way. But there is a coming together, a union. Again, it can just be that it's communication, but it can be more. We know that the communication has been, that the connection has been stuck. This is a lot of past energy for me. It's some current energy too, but we see that things will eventually get moving. It's just a matter of time. Of course, the roses, love and growth, reunion energy. And those four areas of support and stability, which by the way, is, as this person is walking past, it's past two trees, you know, of abundance. The king of pentacles, you know, is a, I want to say a wise investor. Mental, emotional, physical and spiritual. And where do those four areas of support and stability go. That's everybody showing up mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and if possible, I want to say physically, but even so, even if it's just a message or on the phone, you know what I mean? You need that foundation, of course, but without all the four areas of support, it's just a foundation. You know, you don't, you can't build up, rebuild the connection or build the connection and protect the connection protect each other, be there for each other from the elements, from outside external influence. There's a safety in that, you know. This is something you've both been manifesting. The Five of Pentacles is coming in reverse. I like this. It's Mercury again, Mercury and Taurus energy. And this card I want to just show you this energy here. It's an energy of loss. Look, it's around the love. The pentacles are the roses here. And, you know, you see somebody here kind of huddled. It's in reverse. This is hope coming in. It's healing coming in. It's a recovering energy. Maybe it comes back, maybe it doesn't. It, it, it showed us what we needed to see. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. The magician is here today. Look at that. This is yours too. We're going to get it in a minute. This is all about that renewal. Connected to infinite, to infinity, of course. That's the renewal, that's the cycle. Getting through the cycle, balancing the divine feminine, divine masculine energies and for the renewal. This is manifesting soulmate energy. It's alchemizing everything, it's getting things moving. Gemini and Virgo energy and of course the ruling planet for both, you guessed it, Mercury of course. As above, so below. As above, look here even. So below, warming up, getting ready here, look, still rebalancing. I guess you, well, yeah, you could say warming up here, uh, stretching. Moving here, and here we go. Alchemizing everything, turning visions into reality and taking the inspired action. This is changing. Everything here is changing. This is the new beginning. It's the potential. There's a lot of potential here for what whatever's been happening. You can see there is a, it's not just about a soul connection. You both are manifesting each other in this coming together and working it out. Of course, it's all the elements. It's all the signs. It's also the four areas of support and stability. Water, air, earth, and fire. The cups, the swords, the pentacles, the wands. The love and the friendship, the clarity, the transactional energy, the truth, the communication, the movement toward each other here. The wings here, angel wings connecting to this soul connection, the three of cups, her on fire. 
Taking inspired action, yeah. So things are changing here. They've been stuck, it's clear, but that's also a really strong indication of the past energy we know, some of the current energy, but things will be changing. It's just not even a question. The devil energy is here. And this is right where it went, connecting with the past energy of the two of cups in reverse, possibly some the breakup energy, maybe some arguing, and it can be around what's going on here and also why things stopped moving. In particular, communication, why some emotions were blocked. Capricorn and Saturn energy, so what's around this devil energy, you know? There's a connection. Sometimes it can be that somebody's has a stronger attachment to th each other, but it can also be somebody's stronger attachment to something else. It can be behaviors that are not good. Whether it's over an overabundance, partaking in something they need to change, greed, money, you know, what is that for you, materialism? Obsessive energy, and it can be connecting to, let's just say, the romant in the romantic sense, okay? Whatever this is, and you're going to know, and if you're not, I, if you don't know at all, I tell you, it, it's a lot of revealing going on here. It's, it's coming in. There is most definitely, I want to say a completion and a resolution, but it, it's, it can be that, yeah, you say, yeah, this is, this, we're going to have this conversation, but I'm set on going. Maybe you are, and that's how it is for you. You have free will. Your person has free will. Everyone does. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will. They do change. The future is not fixed. But it's clear that everybody's manifesting this, you know? The pentacles around this commitment, relationship, connection. Communicating here, coming together, the reunion energy, putting it all out on the table. Alchemizing all of that. So this is, if it's, <laughs> if you don't know what it is, it's coming up. Because the, it's exactly connected to what happened here. And it still needs to be dealt with. It's The energy is still very much here. The Seven of Wands, interesting, showing at the bottom of the deck in reverse. It's Mars and Leo energy. <laughs> There's so much Mercury energy here today. Mars is the planet of action, you know. It's, it's the beginning and the end. Of course, this is the Seven of Wands is Leo energy. But Mars does bring in Aries and Scorpio. It's beginning and an end energy. It's the drive and the desire. But there's also some conflicting energy, and there is also the energy in Mars of completion, you know? And when it was here in the upright, it's, it's a self-defense energy. You know, look, holding it up. There's a star. Is that the sun? I think that might actually be the source. That might be the sun. You know, holding it up still for this wanting this, but also, yeah, it's a protection, you know? It can be that there's other people involved, but whatever the case is, it, it's an out-of-control energy. It's something that I don't think was maybe something in your control with what's going on with your person, but the Seven of Wands is in reverse here. So this is an energy of, I don't think I can hold hold this up anymore. So it's both your person on one hand, a lot of communication, it's also you kind of giving some wiggle room, but it could be again that there's somebody here that says, yeah, you know, I just, it's like this, you know, it's like holding it up. Look at what it's taking. I mean, it's actually, this person's actually looking really focused and strong. You can see this energy here of just kind of having some boundaries up, but still holding it open with the possibilities here of the outcome, the sun energy, of working things out, of course, connecting God, Goddess, the universe, the divine, that happy outcome, you know? There is an energy of this is this is hurting. I don't know how, how much longer I can wait. So for some of you, maybe there is an energy of going. But I think it's more about that it's the timing is needing to happen here, you know? And it is, Spirit has a plan. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. The Knight of Inspiration. It's, this is the Knight of Wands. It's actually going here. 
So what's really interesting about this is this is an impulsive energy, and I got to tell you, it can also be that somebody was partaking in something in, an, you know, let's just say maybe a romantic sense. It won't be for everybody. An impulsive decision, something impulsive that went on. That is going to be for some of you. You can see it. But it's also an impulsive energy of when this might kind of kick off. Do you know what I mean? This is a particular, horses of course, you know, the horse of course, of course, I'm suddenly hearing that song and I want to laugh, but this, this, um, yeah, this, this, my voice thing is just not going to let me, and I, I don't want to cough. So anyway, very powerful, you know, pushing through obstacles, pushing through karma, through cycles too, you know, look at the flames. It's quite an emotional horse, but it's been spooked here. It's kind of interesting. It's like the fire went fireworks went off and that is the energy here that's the energy of an impulsive energy so there was an impulsive decision or action or something that happened in this connection that was no good that that really connects to the two of cups in reverse the separation and the wheel of fortune kind of putting everything stuck you know and it's an out of control energy so I don't think it's something that you did but it's something that happened could it be external for some of you? Maybe, meaning that it's not your person, but we can see that's that impulsive energy is kind of what put everybody here. That just slid off. This is too many there, so I'm going to do some shuffling. It's awakening. This is Archangel Gabriel. This is judgment. Getting clarity, making a decision, waking up. What do you want? You. Manifesting soulmate energy to communicate the truth around this connection, to see you, to talk to you. You've both been wanting this. This is just really extremely clear. Archangel Gabriel, the Herald of Visions, the Angel for Messages. Pluto energy, that's regenerative energy. And of course, this too is about the two of you. Look at this, the Magician card. Manifesting soulmate energy, what you've been manifesting, what they've been, your person, I want to say, has been manifesting. This is also, of course, the balance. This 20 is a two, and that's two. It's the two of you, and it's the balance. It's the new, it's the renewal, getting through karmic lessons here, balancing divine feminine, divine masculine energies for the renewal, getting out of all that duality, making this decision. Look at this. It's really clear. I want to bring in some oracle now. I want to show you first what's at the bottom of the deck. So we're going to leave it here. It's a hangman energy. It's the hangman, the hang muse. Pisces energy, it's a major arcana, of course. So things have been not moving. Indecision, there's a little bit of power struggle here, but there is some paradigm shift energy that things really do need to change. This is the direction you're going. It sure seems that way. It's an only time will tell energy. It's a 12, that's a 3, that's the divine, divine timing, communication, growth, and this soul connection. Working things out, crown chakra, third eye chakra. It's just really very clear. It's connected to the awakening with your person, but it's connected to the two of you in this communication. The time that things have been not moving and where things are going and just the time that it's going to take. You know, it doesn't feel particularly fast, but you can see it when it kicks off. It's just, it, it, here it is. Your, your oracle are shuffled and ready to go, but I want to show you what's at the bottom of the deck. Willing release. Look at this. It's 49. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, that's four. It's manifesting. The four areas of support and stability, wishes, making wishes, wishes fulfilled, transformational energy. So the cycle needs to complete here for the renewal. We know that. For something totally new, releasing here, whatever happened, whatever's being held on to with discord, you know, 
I want to say maybe possibly for some of you some arguing what somebody did, I feel like, maybe didn't do, but a strong attachment to something that's not exactly healthy, you know, that plays a really big part in what happened here. This is so beautiful. You're reading today, the dandelions making the wish, wish fulfillment covered here in stars as well. The hope for renewal and the clarity, having faith, the transformational energy. It is just extremely clear. And again, the four areas of support and stability. And that's the manifesting the foundation and everything coming together, putting those up together and being there together mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, however that um, connects for you. By the way, I'm not reading Oracle in reverse, the uncharted sea. Well, yeah, it's a new beginning. Northeast, south, and west. Look at the stars here. Oh my gosh. Of course. Wish fulfillment, faded connection, hope, renewal, clarity. This is a lot like a hermit energy of the lantern, isn't it? Look, the sail with the wind going with the flow. Time will tell. Let go, let God. Here's the stork getting ready to deliver a message. The communication, whether it's a message or you're coming together or you're talking on the phone or whatever it is. It's the new beginning. It's 6, 46, it's a 10. It's the completion, the cycle here. It's the renewal. It's the new beginning. It's the potential here. It's the opportunity for that. It's not, there's very much a chance. Look how deep you can see right into it, into the deep. As far as it goes with the emotions, it's the divine carrying this connection, divine timing for this reunion, whether this is in person or this is just via communication, maybe it's both, of course, but powered by the wind. But here with this hermit energy in here, you know, of course, Mercury energy, <laughs> Virgo energy, and there's the star in there, of course, bringing in the star energy, Aquarius, Uranus energy. Just holding it up here, being guided by, look here, the ore even has a star on it. When it's time to move and when it's time not to, when it's time to ride out the waves. Gosh, you guys, when it's time to put that ore in and ride it out, when it's time to do that. And sometimes it may feel like a struggle, of course, going against the the natural flow of the ocean sometimes, sometimes, you know, needing to emotional energy, deal with those emotions, both for you, the two of you, but also your person in order to come. When is the stork going off here with, with the new beginning, you know, with the package that they often carry? This is really beautiful reading. I'm sorry that things have to get covered up. As you know, this is just what happens. Here at the tarot closet, it's how it goes. It's kind of where things are great and full. Look at this energy manifesting the four areas of support and stability, a victory, like, like, a, a, vic like a cup, an award, you know, it's a cup. I mean, it's not a baptismal cup. It kind of, kind of is, actually. It's connected with what looks like fairy wings and fate. Regenerative Pluto energy, full. Look at this, bursting. Great and full. Abundance, healing energy, new beginnings. The four areas of support and stability. Victory, like you've solved it. Like, gosh, this is really beautiful. I sure hope the best for you. I really like this so very much. It's just really incredibly clear, mentally, emotional, physical, and spiritual. Again, <laughs> I'm counting with my hands, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 4. Wishes fulfilled. Everything coming together. Great, full, abundance. New beginning. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's that energy, you know, where is it going to go? Only time will tell. It's, that's the hangman energy. The oracle's gift. The oracle, you know, all-knowing. It's like reading um, from the cup as well. Roses coming out, stars. 
healing energy, a warmth. Look, there's trees coming up here. There's the fiery energy. It's the 10 again. Yeah, this is like a gift from the divine, from spirit, the oracles. You know the oracle. They say the all-knowing. This is really a very beautiful reading. I feel you were meant to be. It's a matter of timing, but it's, it's so much more than that. It's, every, it's getting together and getting in the same place here. King of Swords, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. Where is that pentacle going? Three of Cups. The Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords. We see all this energy here. Look at look at all that. But the Magician is here alchemizing everything. And to me, I see, and it just revealed Earth magic. There's a lot of cards here. We're going to look at them. It's really not that many. There's three under there, and that's the most I take there. Look at this. This is the Earth energy. That's the Pentacle energy. It's the foundation. Look what it's... Look what's under there where you're going to be building that. Whew, this is so goosebumpy. Manifesting, soulmate energy, alchemizing everything, taking inspired action, turning visions into reality. The four areas of support and stability, accessing all the elements as the magician does, being able to, to work this magic, literally here, co-creating with source, all the rainbows of hope. Rebuilding. Look with the look at the ground you're getting to rebuild on. Filled. Look at this. Connecting right up to the divine with magic, the stars. The winds of change. I'm hearing that scorpion song. When it's time, I really, really love this for you. Gosh, it couldn't be more beautiful. The power of purpose wanted to show itself. It's the last card coming in. We're going to look at these. Then we're going to bring in some channeled love messages. Yeah, this is... There's the star again. The renewal, the hope, the clarity. Who? Where are you going? What are you wanting to do here? Look at the wheel. It's a nine. It's things coming to fruition, attainment and fulfillment, going for what you want. That's connecting strongly here with Archangel Gabriel, wake up, make a decision. Your life's purpose, what do you want? The power of purpose when you want something and getting it, making it work and not taking it and not forcing anyone. We all have free will, but everybody coming together and wanting the same thing. This is so beautiful, you're reading. And I was just about to look under and my guide said, no, you're done. And to me, I see this is working out the, the karmic Lessens the cycle. That's the eight. It's the action number. It's, it's quite literally doing that. Look, there's heart here. Connecting also to infinity, of course. Twin flame energy for some of you, but that's also the balance, which we know here in the renewal. Manifesting abundance. Healing energy here, too. So it's working on... It's for your person, too. This let it go energy. I tell you, this is here. This is what's in this devil energy. Waking the lion. Yeah. Oh, gosh. So some things that still really need to be dealt with. This is a powerful energy. It's actually a really beautiful look to get to this new beginning. Again, covered in stars and light and high vibrational energy. Energy here from Archangel Gabriel from the Magician from spirit. It is just incredibly clear. They say actually in the world there is a place for everybody that feels right, like you feel it in your bones. There's more than one place and this is that. So it can be location for some of you, but also the connection, the commitment energy here. Of course, connecting to Leo when you see that, the strength card, you know, self-love, respect, courage. Really strong chemistry between you. And this is also manifesting this, this relationship the way that you both want it to be, maybe how it was. But this needs to be dealt with. We already know that, but here it is. Look. The heart chakra. There's some things that need to be let go that have blocked this connection, that have blocked some heart chakras that have caused a lot of hurt. 
if you're in, in, in the energy of, of talking and moving, it still needs to be dealt with, you know, some closure. But this is just not closure for me, for a lot of you, for most of you. It's coming back together, but together you also need to let some things go. Look, it's untying this. So this heart chakra, so this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful heart chakra here. Look at all the flowers around it here up in the divine can be released, can be op opened again, quite literally. Stars around it, the hope for this, the renewal, the clarity. Yeah, this needs to be to go it's waking the lion, you know, it is coming into that strength energy union as well. There's an energy here of, you know, kind of over a strong connection that sometimes this emotional energy can get overwhelming between the two of you. So that's a real strong message here. And that's the six, by the way, that 24. And you know what that is? That's restoring harmony and healing together. Your heart's coming together here and working this out and letting it go. Whatever happened here in the past and opening up your heart chakras again to each other. What a really beautiful reading. I want to bring in some channel love messages, messages from your person, messages from their higher self. If you feel that you're sending the messages, that's okay. Of course you are. A lot of times there can be communication going on. Telepathy, when you're emotionally connected to somebody, psychically connected, we all have the ability, you know, is, is especially strong. I'm going to close my eyes. What falls out is yours and what I bring out. Messages from your person. Messages from their higher self. I think that's it. That's a lot. <laughs> What's over here and into me I see. No one compares to you. Do you still love me? Look right here with that, what needs to be let go of and worked out in order for hearts to open the way they need to open. Do you miss me too? The willing release here so that wishes can come, can come true, the manifesting of this energy, this soulmate connection. You are my other half as I say that, soulmate connection, validation. For some of you, twin flame energy, it's not for everybody, I know that. It can be your twin flame and there are soulmate. That is very much the case, it's true, and it might might be something quite big for you. If you're on a Twin Flame journey, I highly recommend checking out Twin Flame readings. They're, they're really just for you. But I'm glad you're here. I love you. I knew this was coming. Get the healing energy. You inspire a love in me I never knew. I miss you. Three of emotions is where that's going. Three of cups. We have a deep soul connection. Yeah. The magician, that's going to go. I want to be honest. It's the queen of swords here. This is your last channeled love message it is. We were meant to meet. Serendipity. I like this. A lot. Beautiful, beautiful souls. That was your reading today. It was really was magical. I thank you so very much for joining me. I'm sending you so much love and so much light your way. There's there's so much here. My heart just feels really full. I hope you enjoyed your reading as much as I enjoyed reading for you. And if you did, I would really appreciate it. If you liked today's video, subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. 
This really helps the channel so much more than you know, I can't tell you. So thank you very much. And thank you for being here today. Your support means everything. I love you very much. Take care of yourself. I hope for the best outcome for you. And I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. Bye for now.